Hello! This is going to be a quick one. So, I'm working on a new Voidwalker build, and I was looking around for information on just how good the Void Fragment Echo of Reprisal was. This is the one that grants bonus super energy while you're surrounded. And to my surprise, there wasn't much info out there. Like, none. I checked the Destiny Data Compendium, which, by the way, is an amazing spreadsheet built by someone named Pippin. It's got information on almost every value in the game, from perks to exotics, mods, subclasses, and more. It's a great reference, I use it all the time, and I'll link it in the description down below. But when I checked out Echo of Reprisal, even Pippin wasn't sure exactly how much super energy it provided. However, they did discover quite a bit about how the perk works. So you trigger it by being surrounded by three or more enemies within eight meters. And each enemy after the third grants additional super energy on top, with that bonus being capped at seven enemies and there is a one second cooldown between procs. Okay, so we know how to trigger it, and we know it scales up with more enemies up to seven. That's really cool, but how good is it? How much super energy do we get out of this thing? I ran some quick tests first comparing our base super energy gain with grenade kills, then with ashes to assets, again with echo of reprisal, and finally with both ashes to assets and echo of reprisal. And the results were quite surprising. I ran the opening of Shirochi, just clearing the very first wave of Thrall. With neither the Fragment or Ashes to Assets, you get a pitiful amount of super energy. It's actually quite sad how little we get as a baseline. Our super is barely past the middle of the grenade icon. Next, we toss on Ashes to Assets, and holy forkin' shirt balls! I knew this mod was good, but since I almost always run it, I forgot just how good. Killing the same amount of Thrall in the same amount of time, and we get almost half our entire super bar filled. That's gotta be the best value mod in the game for grenade builds. Next, we see just how good the fragment Echo of Reprisal is on its own. No ashes to assets, and when we compare it to our baseline, we're getting about twice as much super energy back. That's not bad at all. But what about when we stack both the Fragment and Ashes to Assets? Well, we end up with nearly three quarters of our super. With some rough pixel counting, it's about 20 to 25% more than just Ashes to Assets, so they do in fact stack well together. The question becomes, is that 20 to 25% extra worth the Fragment slot? And I would say that when you're running anything but GMs or Master Raids, yeah. Especially if you're running Nova Bomb, which is still one of the best supers in the game. In harder content, you probably won't be getting this close to groups of enemies to proc it often, but in everything else, being able to spam 25% more supers is awesome. The real takeaway, however, is always run Ashes to Assets, because damn that shit is strong. If you guys find my videos helpful, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, leave a comment, dance a little jig, it all helps. I think the algorithm hates that it took a few months off, but hey life calls. That's it for this one. I'll see you on the flip side.